Children begin taking an interest in changing their rooms just about after they turn five. It's the one place where they can let their imagination run away with them, whether it's through play, reading, or art. Bravo TV's husband and wife design team, Bob and Courtney Novogratz, have turned funky into fabulous for 10 years. And they're joining us with tricks to unleash your child's creativity. Good morning. Hey, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. We've actually been together 20 years, Nikki. 20 years. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. It feels like 10. It if, feels like 10, Nikki, but it's been 20. You well, know? you know what? You, you do a good job. How we'll are you doing? We'll have to do a separate interview one of these days about how you make that happen and do it so well. But I want to mention that you two are the parents of seven children. I mean, that is impressive. And so I want to know what age did they really want to get involved in their room designs? Well, we actually, we partnered up with Lego Friends, and they happened to do a survey that showed that at five years old, kids really start to look at their surroundings mm -hmm. and ask questions about their environment. And then they took that survey further, and they found out that boys and girls can really relate and love the color blue. Hmm. The fact that Robert and I are husband and wife and designers, uh, we love the color blue. We decorate it with all, you know, all the time. Sure. Um, but we think what's most important when it comes to decorating your kids' rooms yeah. is really start to get them involved. You know, mm. ask them what would you want the color of your room to be. Really, um, you know, kind of coordinate with them and get ideas as far as the design of their bedroom. Good point. And I know kids like to be hip and trendy, especially when they have their friends over. So, what are the trends for a child's rooms these days? Well, I think uh, the trend is that you don't want to change it every two years. Mm, so you kind point. of want to you want to make it that it can transition from a kid's room to a tween's room to a teen's room. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're not changing it all the time. But the real important part is um, you want to make it a great area where they can learn, where they can feel that they have their own space, that sure. they're not over cluttered with junk and toys. And it's a, you build a really creative learning area for them, their own learning space where they can kind of escape from everything and, and dream and being creative and, and really just get away from it all. Well, building on that point, what toys and tools would you guys recommend to help foster a child's creativity? Uh, well, Lego bricks are great. Our own okay. kids use them. Um, we definitely, you know, recommend some kind of desk or work area mm. so the kids can either build with bricks or trains or possibly do arts and crafts. Oh. Or maybe they're a little bit older and they've got a laptop and they're doing homework. But they need a little desktop. All of us need that, but especially our kids uh, to call their own so they can tap into their imagination. Yeah, I mean, that's so important. And it, it really sets into motion all of the things they're going to do as they continue to grow. And like you said, transition. From, from child to tween to teen, and, and that's important. And I know another thing that's important, obviously, is money. And if money's tight, what would you two recommend would be one of the maybe one or two well, must-haves for the kids to have a, a whole new look? Well, um, you know, our new show is actually um, on HGTV. It's called Home by Novogratz, and we always say that good taste and money don't go hand in hand. <laughs> so it's really about making the right choices. Okay. I don't feel, I think we live in a, this crazy consumer world where we have too much. So it's making the right choices, you know, creating a clutter-free environment, and then put the money in the right place, which would be the learning places, the creative places, something they could enjoy for the rest of their lives and maybe make a career of. Such good advice. Let me ask you this. Obviously, you speak from major experience here with all of your children. Is it a good idea to just let a child's imagination run away with him or her, or is there a point when a parent should step in and just say no? Well, I mean, ultimately, we're the parents, and we happen to be designers, so we <laughs> right. definitely put a stop on... Uh, you know, the design process, but I think it's more of just letting them feel like they're part of it so mm -hmm. that they can appreciate their surroundings. Um, and again, you know, it's interesting, um, partnering up with LEGO, they found out that like boys like to build and girls okay. like to build, but girls then like to kind of go inside and be like little mini interior decorators. Mm. And so I think if you just expose them to all different types of possibilities, when they get older, they can tap into maybe being an architect or, you know, a musician. It's it's really giving them all these resources in their bedroom and throughout the house. That's a, that's a really good point. And I know there are, especially when you have seven children like you both do, there are times where kids share a room. So what do you recommend in those circumstances? Well, 
Uh, you know, we just designed a, a 200 square foot space for triplets. Wow. Um, and they, first of all, we got rid of like the, all the toys they had in the place and let them choose their <laughs> couple favorites. Okay. But we, we built a cool bunk bed system, but we gave them each of their own little space that they could call their own, uh, their own little nook. So I think if you have two kids in a room or four kids in a room, each kid needs their own little area which they can call their own. Definitely give them a little of their own individuality and independent. What would you say is a reasonable budget to yeah, start with? Yeah, and it's with? okay to mix and match. You know, oh, yeah. a, kids are sharing a room. Mm -hmm. The two beds don't necessarily have to match. So that kid feels like a little personality, a little bit of, you know, being an individual. Right, right. Good, yeah, good point. And I was just going to ask you about the budget as far as a starting point. What would you recommend? Um, you know, budgets budgets are all relative, but in okay. kids' spaces, I don't feel you have to spend a lot. Okay. Um, kids' stuff needs to be durable, stuff that you can keep for a long time. And, um, but you, know. you can shop at flea markets. Mm. You can shop at, you know, the local chain stores that all of us go to. Uh, but, again, kids don't need everything. A bed, a desk, a storage mm -hmm. solution, a chair, an open space for them to create and uh, hang out. Whether it's boys wrestling or girls, you know, building something. Um, or teenagers hanging out. I think that's a great idea. I remember when I was a little kid and my mom would say, go to your room, I would say, yay, because I love my room. And I think that's actually a nice okay. thing is to feel like your room is your own special place where you can have your own independence. I think it's important for those kids. For no, right. well said, and the, the more you like it, the more you want to be there and the happier space, the happier kid. Absolutely. Yeah, and your bedroom, Nikki, I'm sure it was an expression of who you are. Definitely, it was very pink, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and while I have I you, love pink. Yay. I love pink, I still do. And while I have you guys here, I want to ask you what we can expect this season on the show. Uh, well, Home by Novogratz and HGTV, uh, it's very celebrity driven this year. Okay. We do Tony Hawk's Ski House and uh, Wendy Williams Space. And, oh, uh, a lot of cool projects. A lot of, with cool, a lot lot of, of lot of kids, a lot of kids spaces. Um, we filmed in California to yeah, Oklahoma. Yeah, our kids got to, to ski with Tony Hawk's. So oh, that was wow! Cool. Yeah. Any disco balls at Wendy Williams it's, House? It, Mirror balls? Uh, we actually did her, um, her <laughs> green studio, room, her yeah. studio. And nice. it, yeah, she's a hoot. <laughs> she is indeed. Where can we go for more information? You know, there are a lot of really great sites. Uh, one great site is Lego. Uh, LegoBuildTogether.com. Okay, great. Well, we will definitely be watching both of you, and we thank you so much for your valuable tips and expertise. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank Thanks, you so Nikki. much. And you can throw your graduate a party without even lifting a finger. We'll tell you how you can do it coming up next on New Mexico Style.